Capricorn. Sunday, Sunday. Happy Sunday, happy weekend, Cap. I hope that you are doing amazing. I was going to go to you yesterday, but my sinuses just said, no, lady, sit this one out. So I listened to my body. If any of you watched the Sagittarius reading, ah, oh, sorry, I think I stopped that video like four times. So apologies to Sagittarius. If you have Sagittarius placements, Capricorn, I am feeling a little bit better today. Thank you to all of you who have been who have been presenting like little bits of advice and stuff to help me out <sighs> this time of year for me it's i always dread it because without fail i always get allergies pollen grass <sighs> it's a lot for me I hope that you are doing well. Thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, commented and subscribed to my channel so far. I very much appreciate you. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I'm very grateful to have you here. I am going to be opening up personal readings this coming week as I have space, time available. So if you are interested in getting a personal reading with me, please check out the description box everything is there down below um email I nearly forgot my email address <laughs> um black butterfly diamonds tarot at gmail.com trying not to give you my personal email <laughs> that's what it is okay cap spirit please guide and protect me as i channel the messages that Capricorn needs to know at this time. I hope that you are feeling safe, loved and protected. Let's take a look. Messages for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to be aware of? This reading could resonate for you. This may not be your reading. Do not force any message to fit. I could be picking up on your energy, Cap. I could be picking up on the energy of somebody around you or something that's going on around you as well. Flip the roles as you see fit as well. Love, unconditional love, self-love. Teddy bear. Oh, okay. Somebody's going to be reaching out to you, being very lovey-dovey. You could be hugging up this weekend, cuddling up to somebody. I'm getting comfort energy, like warm and cozy. Is it cuffing season? Is that what they call it? <laughs> well, we are in the summer months over here where I am at. So it's not, it's not cuffing season right now. You know, hibernation season where like it's cold outside and you're in the warmth of your house and you're with your person and you're just, you're just canoodling and cuddling and up close and personal. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> Some of you can have that going on right now. Poker face, taking a chance, risk options, not showing hand, gambling. You could have somebody who wants to step into this energy with you and they're not making it known. This person could wear a pretty good mask. Somebody here could be masking their feelings. One more. Broken heart, blowing a kiss. I thought that was broken heart. Somebody could definitely be broken hearted. The broken heart card definitely looks very similar to that card in this deck. Blowing a kiss. Somebody has got hidden feelings or wants to get closer to you. Somebody imagines this. They fantasize about being close to you. They fantasize about being in your energy cap. This is definitely somebody who wants to be around you. We need to determine whether this is a past person, a new person. At this point, it could be either or. Somebody really likes you, but they hide it. They could be worried about being rejected as well with the love call at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody's got something to express to you, to tell you. This is somebody who wants you to embrace them when they come towards you. Let's take a look. Who is this person? The Capricorn. Who is this person? The chariot in the reverse. Somebody who's not taking action right now. They're not moving forward on this, but they want to. Could be a Cancer. The two of coins. 
This could be somebody who's trying to balance out something in their life, gain some sort of footing before they come towards you as well. This person could have car issues. There could be something that's going on with their car that needs repairing or they're working on this right now. Page of coins in the reverse. This could be somebody who's got like a financial woe that's holding them back. With the two of cups from you. This is definitely somebody who wants to come back here. Do you know this person? Is this past? The Eight of Swords. Four of Coins. This could have been somebody who you met a while back who was trapped in another situation. And because I, I use the word trapped because the Eight of Swords is here, maybe this person deemed it that they were trapped elsewhere. This definitely could have been somebody who was with somebody else at the time you met them. You could loosely know this person. You may not have connected with them romantically. But this is somebody who has you on the brain. They had to hold back from you somehow. This person could definitely be going through financial issues. Something to do with a purchase or something that they've got to take care of, pay off. It could definitely be to do with a vehicle. This person could be kind of like um, a victim of a circumstance right now. That's kind of, they feel is out of their control. But it could be something to do with money, with the Emperor card. This is somebody who's definitely trying to get their foot in. could be an Aries. Tell me about the Chariot card in the reverse. The king of the knight of coins. Yeah. This is somebody with the queen of cups. Will they reach out? The magician. Yeah. Expect communication. But there's going to be. They're holding back right now. Because something isn't quite stable around them. There's something that they need to take care of. And for some reason in this person's mind. With the lovers in the reverse. This person could also be going for a separation. Or a breakup. But don't take that if that doesn't resonate. This could be a Gemini. We have Cancer energy. This could be a Virgo. We have a uh, Cancer. Pretty strong here. Any water sign in fact. Earth sign energy as well, like yourself. Somebody's moving slowly towards you. Again, there could have been a, a, a speed hump in the road or something that has paused this person. This person could definitely be connecting to somebody else or they have done it in the past. You could know this person to be involved or in another connection. And this could have been the reason why something couldn't move forward between the two of you. With the Eight of Swords, this person definitely feels like they, at one point, if not now, that something's out of their hands. It could be both. It could be that this person in the past was in a connection and they couldn't see a way forward with you. So they had to hold back from you. It could be that now something else has cropped up financially. This person could have a lot of things, loose ends that they need to tie up and they want to handle that first before coming towards you, which is not a bad thing. Tell me about the Magician card. The world, yeah, this is, after something has ended, after something comes to completion for this person here, um, they're coming towards you, they're going to manifest some sort of, they, they want to manifest some sort of connection with you, coming together with you, talking to you. This is definitely somebody who likes you with the Seven of Swords, but they have to be very strategic. Page of coins in the reverse and the ten of coins in the reverse. There's something about this person's money. This person could like to overspend as well. Or they could have been connected to an overspender. They could have been some connected to somebody who was very frivolous with money or immature with money. Or this could have been them in the past. They could have hid this or somebody could have hid this from them. For example, if they there was somebody who throws away all the money or frivol frivolously spends or gambles or buys all of this stuff and doesn't pay the bills type of energy. Um, this could have been hidden from this person. This is somebody who's trying to recoup from that and move away from that energy here, whether it's them or somebody who they're connected to. But there's definitely a recoup that they're trying to achieve in their life. Something's moving really slowly for this person right now due to finances. 
and it could be finances that they have tied up in another person or somebody being very irresponsible with money. They could have made a poor financial decision, a big purchase. They could have bought a new car and it turned out to be a lemon, you know, what have you. They could be having car issues. I'm definitely seeing transportation issues, something like that. But there's something that's interfering with this person coming towards you. And I do feel like it involves loose ends, things that need to be tied up here is what i'm seeing let's get you a spread messages for capricorn please and thank you the justice okay some of you could be dealing with a libra Messages for Capricorn, Five of Cups, the Five of Swords in the reverse, the Hierophant, Page of Coins in the Upright. Somebody could feel like you're outgrowing them. Eight of Wands and the Chariot. What's the Five of Swords in the reverse? The Five of Coins. The Hierophant. The Two of Wands. What's the Eight of Wands? The Four of Cups. Okay, Capricorn, bottom of the deck, we have the Magician card. I'm telling you, you definitely have somebody who wants to speak to you, reach out to you, have some sort of um, spark up of something with you. I feel like you've got a person here. It could be more than one person, to be honest with you, that definitely wants to reach out to you, manifest something with you with the Empress. This person really recognizes your growth. There's somebody here with the Eight of Cups, but they feel like you're walking away fast towards or possibly a new relationship with the Lovers card and the Ace of Swords. Somebody could feel like you're reconciling with somebody from your past or somebody who you have children with, with the Nine of Cups. Somebody views you at the moment, um, Capricorn, as somebody who is fulfilling a lot of things in your life. You could be... Across the board, you could be achieving a lot. Maybe you have a new person. Maybe you're experiencing some sort of glow up here. There's an energy of you looking really good, very attractive right now. And there's something about you walking away from this person with the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. And it's like something's happening before someone's eyes with the Knight of Swords fast. It's like fast. Somebody feels like they can't stop you. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like you've got a set. What I've just covered in the beginning, I do feel like this is a different energy. Somebody from your past. I also feel like there's also another person here. Okay, so stick with me. There's a person who is in a connection or tying up some sort of loose ends. They've got financial woes that they're trying to handle right now. This is somebody who something didn't take off because they were in another connection or they had other things going on. This is definitely somebody who's manifesting communication with you. This person wants to express some sort of emotion towards you. Okay, that's that energy. Now, I've just pulled you a spread. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. Some of you could be dealing with a um, any earth sign, in fact, a Cancer. Any water sign. Um, Capricorn, somebody's really sad over you right now. Very sad. And it has something to do with you moving forward or moving on from them. Cap. This could have been somebody who played a lot of games with you. You could have felt very empty with this person. Like there's an, an energy of feeling vacant. With the five of swords in the reverse, this person could have left you at a loss. Like 
it's almost like the energy of somebody doing so much that you don't even know what to do with it anymore. Like, what do I even do with this crap? Somebody could have really have played played you or played played with you, played games with you here. And now it's like they're sad that you're no longer here or there or wherever it is. Somebody feels like you are in a very powerful position right now. This could be a person who feels like a lot of avenues. Again, there's an energy of growth. A lot of things are being presented to you in terms of good opportunities. Um forward movement you know elevation here somebody could also view you as some sort of um person who's very in control somebody who's very well looked up to this is definitely somebody who sees you as the ball being in your court right now in your own life okay with the eight of wands and the four of cups somebody feels that you're going to be very very disinterested this person could have even have already have reached out to you there's definitely somebody here, a separate person from what I picked up on already earlier on, that wants to reach out to you. I feel like you've got multiple people who want to speak to you. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the energy that you're stepping into and the fact that a lot of good things are happening for you right now, Capricorn. With the Four of Cups, you have somebody here who almost feels like you're going to be unbothered. They're going to reach out to you and it's neither here or there, like apathy. This person could feel like you you just don't you you just you're just not really bothered, and this could definitely have been a person who you was bothered about in the past. This person knows that they affected you somehow. This could be a person who views you as an energy of maybe you there was a time in your life when you went through a hard time you could have felt like you didn't have enough, maybe financially you were struggling at one point um and whatever this was that this person was doing here with the five of swords. They added fuel to the fire. They could have even have kicked you while you was down. This person could have even have put you in a hard spot, a tough spot to get out of, okay? And this is now a person who's viewing you as somebody who is no longer in out in the cold. And it kind of has nothing to do with them. It's like if this person caused you to take her out or contributed somehow or added fuel to your fire even if they didn't predominantly put you in that situation they didn't help you either or they didn't make it easier for you either in fact what they did was they probably they probably stuck the knife in more and they probably made it a little bit more difficult for you to get yourself out of some sort of rut here now this is a person who views you as you've risen above something with the hierophant card and the eight of wands and where you're going it's like they wouldn't even blame you if you didn't look back. And they understand why you would be unbothered. Hence the reason why they're anticipating you to either ignore them or to just be yawn in their face. Yawn in their face. Like you don't even want to hear it type of energy because they know what happened in the past. This is definitely past energy here, what I'm seeing. five of cups what is this five of cups energy here the three of coins ace of wands the sun somebody could be in in a very unhappy relationship as well they could feel like they chose wrong this could be a leo this could be a person who's committed to somebody else this person could want to apologise for this, especially if there was an overlap or you was with this person and they kind of left. This person could have even have ghosted with that five of coins here, but they played a lot of games. There was a lot of games. It's There's something about the way that somebody went about something, which is which is what this is about. They, they're definitely in another connection. This could have been revealed. This could be known. They turn their back here with the Queen of Coins. Yeah, this person could be married even to someone else. Why are they sad? The Nine of Wands, because they're guilty. Somebody's in another connection, but guilty over something to do with you. This person feels like they owe you an apology. 
the death card but they feel like you're you're gone and you're over it the death card and the chariot they feel like something's over but they can't get over some sort of feeling of the past they're in a whole connection they definitely moved away from you this person could live at a distance from you this person could have even have moved state moved town moved country even how far do you want to go you know with the three of coins somebody's definitely collaborating with somebody else they were very passionate about this decision but there's something about it's niggling in the back of their head with the nine of they're haunted haunted by sadness of the past and regret with the three of swords this is definitely somebody who may have gone towards something else Three of coins and the three of swords. This is somebody else in their energy with the ace of coins. They offered some, yeah, they, they held back from you, but they offered something to someone else with the six of coins. This is somebody who was giving to another situation. While they could have been connected with you with the eight of coins, yeah. They were putting in a lot of effort. So if you feel like somebody wasn't putting effort with you, it's because they were somewhere else putting effort into something else. And I feel like that's why they're guilty. Why are they so guilty here? The lovers, yeah, because they cheated. Because they had another person. It's the way they went about something. Five of Swords. The Five of Wands. They caused a lot of chaos. This is somebody who caused a lot of chaos. And that's what I thought with the devil. Yeah. The way they went about something was, was nine of swords. This person could have gave you anxiety. They could have left you in a really bad way. Especially if you had children. There's children in this card. With the five of coins, the nine of swords. Yeah, with the four of swords. They could have even have left you when you were sick. Or maybe you... I, I said children. Maybe you were in poor health at that time. This could be mental health. Something about you struggling with something. If they left you and you had a child, you could have had a newborn and you were still healing from birth, is what I'm getting. With the judgment, they're under judgment over this. That's why they can't let it go. That's why it's niggling. That's why the guilt is, is catching up with them. That's why they're haunted. Yeah, that's what this is. That's why. That's why they can't not think about it. They they're in a whole nother connection here. They've had a passionate new beginning. They could have chosen somebody who they feel can they connect with better on a better level physically. They feel like there's a lot of money there. They could be really doing well. This could even be a marriage. Okay. The connection that they're in, I don't actually see any negative energy, but they're sad and empty inside. And the reason why that is, is because they're being haunted by some sort of heartbreak, anxiety that they caused for you. So it's like an empty victory. Hierophant, the four of wands. You could be going towards marriage here. Some of you could be getting married. Or well, this is what you're thinking about right now. Yeah, seven of coins. Somebody wants to invest in a connection long term with you. Who is this person? Seven of wands. Somebody who's fighting for this, putting in a lot of effort. Empress. You could have another connection coming together here. This could lead to marriage. This could lead to long term. This is definitely something that you're going to be investing in. There's going to be somebody who's who's very open to putting in a lot of effort to build something stable with you. And, you know, the justice card and the judgment is here. 
and the empress there's an element of you coming out on top in a situation and you could have somebody reaching out to you during this process of building this with the ace of cups that's here this is some sort of divine connection that's coming in with the empress and the justice card definitely could lead to marriage you've got somebody here who may reach out to you here could about reconciliation or about making up with you from the past yeah yeah somebody from your past wants to apologize the six of cups and the knight of cups with the three of cups here and the king of swords they may like slyly reach out to you but not make it known that what they really want to do is be back in your energy be careful with this person because they do have another situation they're just plagued with guilt right now and karma that is the karma the fact that they can't get over what they did they're in a perfectly happy seemingly there's nothing wrong with this union i would tell you if i see it in the cards whatever connection that they're in there's the ten of pentacles there's the queen of coins they could be with somebody who's very well established has their own the sun is here positive outlook happiness they could even have children with this person with the page of cups the ace of wands passion is there the lovers connecting on a deeper level here a lot of cooperation which is what they wanted but in the back of their head they're haunted they're sad internally that's what i say to a lot of people do not measure the fact that somebody outwardly seems to be doing well as that's a true representation as to what's going on especially those who do you wrong sometimes we don't know what people are living in so you know sometimes the karma is to have regret sometimes the karma is to live with the guilt guilty conscience can eat somebody up inside especially if they know they've not done the right thing okay and this is a person who is going through that process they're going through the motions with the eight of coins and the hanged man um yeah since so moving away from you but this is definitely somebody who is thinking about you they could view you as somebody who's moving on from them and they're very sad about this how you manage to get yourself it's like somebody giving you something to heal from and then being very sad that you've managed to heal from it which makes them feel guilty because you're doing better after what they did to you does that make sense something like that with the strength card this could be a leo yeah exactly what i just said somebody giving you something to heal from then watching you kind of restore yourself get yourself back even step into a new connection for some of you get some sort of glow up justice happen in your life divine connection love love of self even even doing better than probably when you was even connected to this person and this is a person who is now sad because of that strength and the ability to pick yourself up here. That's what I see. Anything else for Capricorn? Queen of Cups. The Six of Cups. Somebody is really stuck reminiscing about how much care love time compassion you gave to them see a mistake that a lot of people make is thinking that people are replaceable no two people are the same no people are the same and one mistake we we do have in this day and age you know people who are more of the 3d it's okay if that ends i'm gonna go and get another one objectifying people type of energy you know it's okay if that relationship doesn't work out i can go within however long go on a dating site swipe left swipe right whatever people do on dating sites these days to go and find another one and it's okay because i have another body to fill the space you cannot imitate energy you cannot um replace connection you cannot replace people people are not replaceable and this is somebody who's heavily reminiscing about that and i feel like to some degree this is what this person is going through now they have all of this which i cannot see a thing wrong with this dynamic that they've stepped into here i'll be honest with you perfectly good union 
white picket fence, everything. Everything they possibly thought like they were going to have of this person is happening right now. But inside, this person feels rotten. Three of Swords, the Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups. Why do you feel so rotten? Because people are not replaceable. They're thinking about you. The Ten of Pentacles. They have it all over here, but somebody keeps thinking about the Ten of Pentacles that they could have had with you. Wow. The Knight of Cups. This person's very, very remorseful and apologetic on the inside. With the Seven of Wands in the reverse. This could be somebody who even had a guard up towards you. Somebody is really softening in your absence. With the Two of Cups. Anything else? The Four of Pentacles. Somebody's holding on to you energetically. They can't get over your energy. They can't get over what you gave to them. The care, the compassion. That's what this boils down to. The sun. Yeah. This is somebody who's ugh, heavily, heavily fantasizing about what they could have had here. Could be a Leo. We've got earth sign energy here. Yeah, and they're very burdened by this. This is guilt. This is guilt. I, I can't get away th from it. King of Cups in the reverse. Heavily in their emotions while they're with somebody else. This Queen of Pentacles that's down here. They have a perfectly stable person over here. Could be an earth sign that they're with. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But this is somebody who's caught up in their emotions over you because they're guilty about whatever it is that they put you through. This is the type of karma that is probably the worst karma. You know, your car could break down. You know, issues could arise from your home. You could get unexpected parking tickets or what have you, bills that you didn't anticipate. You know, you could get in a terrible accident, which I'm not wishing, wishing on anybody. You know, things could go really crap in your life. You could lose your job. You could maybe not be getting as much work. That's all part of, you know... Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're not up, okay? But the worst type of karma is when internally, in your psyche, you are not at peace. And you carry that around with you in a pocket. People who do people wrong, like people who have realisations after the fact, that crap, I should have handled that in a wrong way. If they have any ounce of remorse, heart, soul within them, conscience, then people don't live in peace. They can't live in peace. And like I say, not everybody has remorse. Okay, some people are just cold MFs, you know. Not everybody has that ability to feel sorry or to feel like they've done something wrong. And that's a whole nother conversation. But there's a person here in your energy who really feels sorry, really feels bad. Like it's eating them alive. And they're burdened by their own guilt. In a whole nother connection. Thinking about what could have been with you. But looking at the person that they've got there. And thinking. Yeah. People are not replaceable. People are not replaceable. People are individual. You cannot imitate energy. You cannot swap. Okay. You can't swap. This is not a game of cards out here. You know, this is people, this is feelings, this is energy. There's levels. And you've got someone here who's realising this in the most uncomfortable way possible. And they've got a whole connection that they're in. And I want to say stuck in, but there's nothing wrong with the connection. They feel stuck because mentally they feel trapped. The worst type of karma. Capricorn. You've got something amazing going on over here. I wouldn't dwell on this. For some of you, this is just confirmation that you already, something that you already know. Somebody's really going through it mentally. Don't be caught up on what outside appearances look like. People show you what they want you to see. 
that's what I have for you. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, I will see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.